Well, here's a story involving cops. They assaulted a couple in an Applebee's thinking that the guy was a criminal that they were looking for. But instead of actually investigating anything, they just attacked this dude while he's holding his baby. Our top story tonight, resolution for a couple assaulted by Kenosha police at an Applebee's this past summer. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. I'm Jessup Reisbeck. It was a case of mistaken identity, but the couple ended up facing other charges, and now all those charges have been dropped against them. CBS 58's Michelle Fiore has the details. Jessup, that disturbing video inside this Applebee's along 75th Street or Highway 50 shows officers take down a man as he holds his baby. The video, though, instrumental in giving prosecutors just what they needed to make a decision. The way I'm curious, though, if these cops are going to be charged for their assault against this dude, because if it was anybody else, they would be in prison for assaulting a person. Uh, trying to detain them and stuff. Uh, but when it's cops, usually they get away with it. Waiting game is over. This holiday week, peace for the couple in this disturbing video. Stop it! Put the baby down now! Stop it! Hey, please, let's get the baby down! Jermel English. They didn't even care that he was holding a baby. They attacked him while holding a baby. How can cops claim to care about the welfare of others? when they're attacking people while they're holding babies. Bush was forced to the ground, beaten and pepper sprayed by Kenosha police, all while holding his baby. I'm sure he's excited. His case just got, he's probably got his phone lighting up. <laughs> it just got dismissed. The offices of O'Connor Law Firm expect English and Shania Boyd to join them in a news conference Friday morning, expressing relief. It's I bet the cops are going to try to claim qualified immunity. They were just doing their job. And that meant just beating down random black people. Good in one sense that we have an independent system to where prosecution has to be done by independent lawyers who look over this stuff and not police departments who aren't really policing themselves. The officers involved were suspended, one for four days, the other 10. It's a slap on the... Well, just for four and 10 days. I mean, if a civilian attacked a police officer, they would be in prison. This is the, the first step that happens with officers like this. If they get away with this, the next step is they're going to abuse or kill somebody and it's going to be in their hands. And that Yep. Uh, like with all the other cases of cops killing people, uh, they've had past records of abusing others and it does escalate to the point of them killing people because they see that they're able to get away with it. So why not kill a person and then get paid for killing a person? That's, the, that's why we got to stop it now. Boyd and English were dining out with their one-year-old when the driver in this rollover crash took off. The suspects were later found hiding in the Applebee's bathroom. Although the charges have been dropped, O'Connor says more needs to be done. But we have... Wow, the actual criminals were found in the bathroom. So why did they attack two random black people? because they were black to get what they call injunctive relief to change these policies and procedures because otherwise somebody's going to get killed in a statement the police chief said the district's attorney's office ultimately has the authority to dismiss the case and the reasons for the dismissal is a question that should be directed to them is wow well, what what a what a cop out uh these cops need to be put in prison for what they did if this was any and they would be in prison. Response should be an apology to the public, a retraining of these officers, a revamping of the system as to how this could happen. That news conference is set for 11 a.m. tomorrow, right here.